Must I share my game and my ups and downs with you so they won't make these same mistakes? Once again, this is not to demean anyone. This story is not to demean anyone, right? It's just the truth. It's facts. It ain't no made up shit. Everything I'm talking, everything I'm finna tell y'all is all facts. I'm trying to get this light out back of my head. All right, let me say this one more time. For all you motherfuckers who want to say what you want to say and don't want to hear what I said, hear what I said and try to twist what I say. This is not to demean anyone. This is not to demean anyone. These are facts. These are my life experiences. This is stuff that I've experienced, that I've learned from, that I want to share with youngsters so they won't make the same mistakes I've made. Is that clear? To all you blogs that's going to try to take what I say and put it on your blog and try to make a story that nobody ain't going to see anyway because you only got 660,000 followers. I'm not going to be the guy that go on your blog because you twisted something I said and, 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 and speak on it to make your blog get attention. Nah, I ain't that stupid fam i'm on showtime i'm on fox okay no blog because you twist the words and made up shit no if anybody got a, everybody got a blog so 90 percent of the blog shit is false all right so don't pay attention to no blogs y'all know i'm a real one so y'all can come right here to my page and i'm gonna give it to y'all real i ain't never lied about nothing and ain't no reason to lie now right all right so I'm giving game to the young man out here and tell him the experience I've had. This is not to demean nobody once again, okay? This is free game. Shout out to everybody. I love everybody. I love being black first. You know what I'm saying? And I love everybody that's black, women included. Let me get that clear because a lot of y'all just ignorant. But let me say this too. A hit dog will holler. A hit dog will holler you ain't got to say no names you ain't got to point no fingers you ain't got to do nothing a hit dog will holler bruh this is facts all right so and i hope even women i hope some women hear this and be like you know what i'm gonna find me a one man i hope this is for women and men but i want my young man to take heed to this and take listen to this and take the right advice from this okay yeah the story is a little funny too but take the right advice from this and and the moral of this story is find you one woman this is the whole reason for this for me telling the story find you one woman love her through the good and bad and build with her because i'm telling you if you think having a whole bunch of hoes and having multiple kids by women is something to brag about it's the, it, it will ruin your life Thank God it didn't ruin mine, but it will, it, will, it will add a lot of stress to your life that you don't need, bro. Facts, all right? All right, so bam. So I'm, I'm, with, I'm, I'm with a chick at the time. I'm with a chick at the time, right? And uh, me and her together, uh, we've been together for like a year or two. Um, I met her in New York uh, in the subway. I was driving. I was My first year in NBA, I met her in New York. And um, I flagged her down while she was driving, got her number, da da da. Ended up talking to her. We ended up dating um, for a year or two. Uh, I go to San Antonio, right? She's with me in San Antonio. So, y'all yeah, know I won a championship. So, when it was time for me to go negotiate my contract the following year, the team told me. What's well, the number? It's we want you here, Jack. It's a number of reasons why you won't here, and this is my first time ever hearing something like this. So one of the reasons why San Antonio didn't want to sign me back was because of the girl I was dating at the time. Said she was a bad influence to some of the other wives. They didn't like how she dressed, and San Antonio wasn't wasn't that type of organization. But how can you tell somebody how to dress? You know what I'm saying? This was my woman, so I didn't really care about it at the time. I didn't really pay him no attention. Cool, I bounced. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should be worried about my basketball, not who I'm dating. Right, so that was that's that's one reason why I didn't sign back after we won a championship in San Antonio. Right, was because of the woman I was with. Right, bam. 
So, go to Atlanta. Me and her fight in Atlanta. We, I'm talking about we have a rocky relationship in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? But, I, we, you know, we, we working shit out. You know, no, no relationship is perfect. Come to Atlanta. I signed with Indiana the next year, and I signed my big contract in Indiana, right? I signed my big contract in Indiana. Before I get my big contract, we still together. We together, we living together and all that, right? So we moved to Indiana. I play a season in Indiana. I proposed to her. I can't remember why I proposed to her. None of that matters anyway, though. But I proposed to her, and during that time, you know, we plan to get married in Houston. We plan to get married in Houston, right? So, newsflash for all 530 of y'all on here. In order for a prenup to get drawn up, the 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 two people, the man and the, the husband and the wife, have to agree on what the and what on what the prenup says in order for the prenup to come out valid and you both sign it. Let me say that again. In order for a prenup to get drawn up, both sides have to agree. The, the the husband and the wife, the bride and the groom, they both have to agree on the prenup before it's written up, before it before it can even get written up. You have to agree on it, right? So, I take care of a lot of people. I'm never letting one woman control of all the hard work I've done in my life. None of these motherfuckers was in the gym with me, right? So, if I, I always tell myself, whoever I'm married to, they signing the prenup off top. I'm not. It's not even a second guess. So, man, I had to talk about it. So it's we get the prenup back at least three, four months before the wedding, right? By four months, maybe at least at least three to four months before the wedding. This is all true, y'all. So four months, three, four months before the wedding, we get the prenup. I give it to her. Granted, when I give it to her. She shouldn't be surprised by it because me and her sat down and agreed up on the prenup, right? Me and her agreed up on the prenup. We agreed. Listen to me, y'all. We agreed on the prenup. Bam. So we agree on it. A month passed, like two months photo away, and I'm like, yo, look. We need to get that prenup signed so we can go ahead and, you know, send it in and get it, get it, you know, get all that taken care of. So when we get down there to Houston, we ain't got to worry about it. I tell her that like two or three times. It's a month. It was, that was two months before the wedding. It's a month before the wedding. Look, bro. I just, we, this is, this is something we agreed on. We shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to keep coming and tell you to sign this prenup, Right. What's up, Bird? I shouldn't have to, Bird. You know about this. I shouldn't have to tell you to sign this prenup, right? This is what I'm telling her. This, for, after the first time I came to it was two months before the wedding. Now it's a month before the wedding. I'm like, man, I've been asking you about this prenup. There's no way I should have to keep coming to you about this prenup, knowing we had to agree on this before they even drew it up. So why do I have to keep coming to you about it, about getting this, getting this signed? She's like, I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna sign it. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. I'm like, cool. You can sign it. But look, during that time, we making arrangements for the wedding, right? Because, you know, you still got to plan shit. So, you know, I love her. And I'm going to keep it real with you. I was in love with her. You know what I'm saying? I was in love with her. And we was building a family. So I'm like, okay, cool. I ain't going to make no big deal. I, 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 I went with planning a wedding. I didn't stop. I kept planning a wedding. I told her several times, dog, about the prenup and asking about it. So, bam. So, as we, this, 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 this is one of the twists of the wedding, right? So, as we planned up on a wedding, I'm from Texas, right? She from New York. I'm from Texas. I'm from Port Arthur, which is an hour from Houston where we get married, right? I want my pastor to do it. He right there. It'll save us some money. Da, 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 da. She is adamant about this certain pastor doing the thing, right? So I'm like, cool, it's, it's, it's her wedding. I ain't got no problem. Keep in mind, remember this pastor, right? Remember this pastor. This is a pastor. She 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 was I'm talking about screaming at me and everything. No, my he had this pastor has to do it. This pastor had I'm like, well, this we can save money and make more sense. This is my pastor since I was a kid. You don't even know this guy. Some other girl brought this pastor to her attention. Some other girl. Brought the pastor name to her attention. She this ain't this the pastor she's never seen. 
Don't even know. But she don't want my pastor to do it, right? Cool. Remember that. So I'm like, fine. Fine. No problem. No problem. He can do it. Your pastor can do it. I'm cool with it. I ain't going to be petty. Cool. I want you to have this is your day. Everything is yours. I spent about 400000 on the wedding, y'all. About four hundred k, right? It's your whatever you want to do. Hey, pastor don't matter to me. I just want to marry you. I don't even give a damn. Two weeks before the wedding. We go on to Houston a week before the wedding. Now we had two weeks before the wedding. Everything planned. We ready to go. I'm like, look, bro. Why I got to keep asking you about this prenup, bro? It ain't like you don't know what's on it. Like, what motives? This is what I told her. What you up to? What motives you on? I ain't on nothing. I just ain't had time to sign up planning a wedding office. I'm like, man, listen, man. All you got to do is sign it. You ain't got to. It ain't like you got to read it all over again. You know what's in it. Da, da, da. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. Me being a, being a person I am, I know it's a wedding and all that shit. I'm like, you know what? I know you probably just frustrated. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a, 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 a supportive man at the time. I know you're going through a lot, baby. I know it's up. You know what I mean? Just when we get, just make sure I get it for the wedding. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. <laughs> we go to Houston. We get there, right? We get to Houston. The night I get to Houston, you know, I, 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 she, we, when we get to Houston, we separate. So she go with her friends. I go with my guys. You know, I'm at home. This is my hometown. So, you know, I'm strip clubbing all kind of shit. While and I with the homies, my partner Weezy on here, he was there. While and I with the homies and shit, having a good time. So, my homegirl Mimi, Mama, Miss Doris, was our nanny at the time, right? We had a nanny at the time. We had a baby. We had a nanny at the time. We had, we had, uh, we had our, my oldest daughter. And my son was, I think my son was on the way. And uh, so we had a nanny at the time. And uh, Miss Doris came to my room. I'm like, Miss Doris, real Jay Sims, what's up, my boy? I'm like, Miss Doris, you know, it's wedding in two days. I ain't got no prenup. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm telling you, Miss Doris, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No, no, baby, don't. You know, you know, I'm all, I'm with you. You know, I'm with you. I know you're right, but don't start having that attitude. It's going to get done. Da, 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 da. Don't worry about it. It's going to get done. It's going to get done. So I'm like, all right, Miss Doris, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be optimistic, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know, I'm having a good time, da, da, da. I'm like, am I having, a, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, listen, man, I ain't getting married without no prenup. Fuck out of here. Not five. You know, that's what I'm thinking the whole time. I'm like, man, I can't believe this motherfucking girl done wait, wait until I spent all this money, got all the way down here. So bam, Miss Doris come to me uh, saying, don't worry about it. It's going to get done. I'm going to go get her to sign it, da, 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 right? So my nigga, this the day of the wedding. Hold on, let me fire my shit back up. Y'all ready for the good part? So, so the day of the wedding, y'all. I got Stephon Barberry. I got Mike Bibby. But I can't remember who who was all in, in the wedding at that time, dog. I had everybody. I know I probably Bun was there. I had a lot of my homeboys. In, I'm talking about all my homeboys, dog. I can't remember who was all in the wedding at the time. But Mike Brown, celebrities, everybody, the her friends, everybody, right? So, we... Wake up that morning. We, I'm getting dressed. I'm getting dressed. You know what I'm saying? We all getting dressed for the wedding. Da, da, da. Everybody getting, you know what I'm saying? All my groomsmen, we in the little groomsmen room. We all get dressed. In the back of my mind, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all thinking about this damn prenup, right? That's all I'm thinking about. So my nanny comes in the room. She's like, how you doing, baby? Good morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, good morning. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's up with the prenup? She like, uh. I talked to her. She said she's going to sign it. I'm, I'm, I'm finna go get it right now. I just wanted to come check with you to see how you doing this morning. Make sure you all right. Make sure you wasn't stressing about it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nah, you say she going you know, you to sign it? I'm cool with it. Getting dressed. Me and my boys drinking, smoking, all that. Getting dressed. Having a good time. Da, 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 whatever we doing for the wedding. So after we get dressed, where we stand at, 
at the hotel where we staying at, it's a big ballroom where we was having a wedding, right? So we had to walk. We had to uh, go get on this private elevator. Me and all my, all my groomsmen, we get on the private elevator and we go to a little back room where from the back room, we just walk out into the wedding, right? So when we get to that, when we get to that room, that's when I, once we get in that room, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, hold up. You know what I'm saying? This will not really turn up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, hold up, hold up, man, hold up, hold up. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, and then this, this, this one, Steph, this why, this is why Steph Marbury and Mike Bibby, my brothers, all right, for life. Steph Bibby, Steph uh, Marbury and Mike Bibby are my real brothers, like my real brothers. You see what I'm saying? No bullshit. These are my real brothers. So we in the back, we walk to the back room, and the motherfucking um. The uh, the priest come in, the preacher come in with with his with his uh, other with his assistant, I guess, and then my nanny come back in there with a with a with a, like a with a spook look on her face, like she still like she she pulled me to the side and she like she still ain't signed it. So when I said that, I'm like, well, shit, I ain't getting married then. She was like, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, and so look, so the preacher, remember the preacher, y'all, remember the preacher. When I say when I say, oh, I ain't no, nah, I ain't getting married. Steph was like. She ain't signed a prenup. What the fuck? What are we even here for? I'm like, yeah, dog, I ain't doing it. The preacher steps up. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The preacher says, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I look at him like, he said, this is what he said. He said, now, now hold on. Don't, now, I know you love this girl. Don't make a drastic decision. I think you should just let God handle it. I say, huh? I think you should just let God handle it. Me, as a as a pastor, I don't believe in prenups. Nah, I know why she was fighting for you. You don't believe in prenups. Nah, it all makes sense. I ain't getting married. Damn what you believe in. I put everything in God's hand. And God is telling me to put the pen in her hand and make her sign this goddamn prenup. Before I get married. That's what God telling me. So God telling me and you two different things, partner. As that's going on, Steph Marbury grows crazy. Hell no. Nah. No, nope, we ain't doing it. Hell no, nope, it ain't going on. Steph go crazy. Mike Bibby walks. Are you serious, Steve? Fuck out of here. Everybody, no, 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 no. Bruh. This preacher has the nerves to sit there for about five or ten minutes and try to convince me that God told him that, that he don't believe in prenups, so I shouldn't believe in him. Listen, bro, we ain't in the same tax bracket, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Bam. So now, now y'all see why she wanted that preacher so bad that she didn't even know. Bam. So bam. This dog, God take all my blessings if I'm lying, dog. This is a true story. I, it's too many people that was there to vouch for it. So bam. So listen. I'm going to tell y'all this. So I, I found out this after the wedding. You know what I'm saying? But on the way to the wedding, rest in peace, my grandma, my grandma dead now. But on the way to the wedding, my grandmother, this is before all this, everything I told y'all. My grandmother told my mama, Jude, it ain't going to be no wedding. This is before all this. My grandmother told this to my mama on the way to Houston to the wedding, right? So, bam. I'm telling him, look, bro, hell no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Hell no, nah, I'm not going to do it. By that time, it had, it had got rowdy in the bridesmaids rooms because my sister was in the wedding. You know what I'm saying? Because the wedding, the wedding had supposed to have been started. Bobby Valentino standing up there at the microphone ready to start singing. Ask Bobby Valentino. He was there. Bobby Valentino will tell you this whole story. He was right there. He's standing up there ready to sing, bro. Ready to start singing. So everybody getting ass like the fuck. My mama said my grandmother just sitting there like she already know what's going on. So, uh, it get, it, it get to getting a little ass over there. So my sister ended up coming out of there. And say, I had to get out of there before I whip one of them hoes because they end up talking crazy. Something like that. Not those exact words, but my sister was, was upset with what was said in there, so she had to walk out. So, bam. 
this is when the this is uh, this is when this is when she showed her true colors, bro. This is when she showed her true colors. So, wedding off. Yes, weddings off. We not doing it. Walk back up to the room. Walk back up to the stairs again. When we take, we get an undressed shit. Step, step, Marbury's like, bro. Hold on. First of all, I'm lying. We get back to the room. We get back to the room, right? Y'all know I'm going to always be 1,000 with everybody. All, 1, 000, all, I'm going to tell y'all the honest truth every time. When we first get back to the room, after I called it off, when everybody trying to figure out what's going on, we all get back to my room, I break down crying, dog. Honest to God truth. I can't lie. Because I was hurt. Because I was ready to, I wanted to marry her, bro. This is the honest to God truth. I break down crying, dog, for about a good 20, 30 minutes. I break, I'm talking about I'm hard down crying, dog. I'm hard down crying because I'm hurt, dog. Like, I'm really hurt. I didn't think a woman would take me to this point over a piece of paper and not marry me, especially after we got a child and we trying to build some shit. Like, I was honestly hurt. You know what I'm saying? I was hurt. I was in a hard down crying, dog. And this is why I love, this is why I, I fell in love with Mike, baby mama. And this is why I always treat her like my own mama. I'm sitting there crying. I hear Steph in the background talking, man, fuck that shit. We finna turn up. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm talking about snot, everything. I'm hard down crying like I lost like I lost my, I don't know, bro. I'm hard down crying as a grown man. I ain't never cried like that, right? So as I'm crying, Mike Bibby Mom's, my, Mike Bibby Mom walk up to me, dog, and it's bringing tears to my eyes today. She walk up to me. She grab her bare hand. Mike Bibby's mom, wipe the snot. And all this from my face, everything from my face. And she picked my chin up and she said, you became a man today. Nigga. Nigga, I'm getting chills. She wiped snot from my, my nose and wiped, wiped my eyes, my nigga, and said, and picked my chin up and say, you became a man today. So, with all that going on, this ain't even half, though. So, with all that's going on, after she do that, I come out of it. Steph like, man, you spent all this money. We finna go party. We finna go party. Da, da, da. Let's go downstairs and still have fun. Look, hey, look. My best friend, Roy D, on here. Look, five Roy D. Am I lying, Roy D? Am I, have I told a lie yet, Roy D? He on here, five Roy D. That's my best, my brother. Same tattoos, everything. Listen, so... As I'm wiping my tears and stuff off, you know what I'm saying, getting ready to go downstairs and party, her, uh, uh, somebody from her side comes to my room. This when it get tricky, y'all. Comes to my room and say, hey, Steve, hey, hold on, just calm down. She want to talk to you. She want to talk to you. I said, what she want to talk for? She's like, no, just calm down, man. You, you, you was about to marry her. You know what I'm saying? Just give her, just give her a second, just out of respect, just, just give me, show me a little love and go talk to her, bruh. I'm like, fuck it. Everybody in my room be like, man, fuck that. And my line, Scoop J. Scoop J on here right now, too. My cousin. He already know. Everybody know. This is no lie. So look, her uncle coming like, man, come talk to her. Come talk to her. I'm like, all right, I'll go talk to her. So look, I get in the room. She's still in her wedding dress. And she crying and shit, right? So soon as I walk in the room, she hard down crying. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Da 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 da. I'll sign it. I'm, I'm whatever, whatever. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Listen, I was born at night, but not last night. One thing I know: anytime somebody signs anything where they crying under any type of stress or any real emotional or something like that, that shit can get thrown out. I was already told that by my folks before I even signed this prenup, before I even got to Houston. So I was already on game. I was already on game. So the shit she tried to, to, to get me in that room and see her tears and think I was going to buckle and just and, and she could sign it while she crying and all that. Then come back and when they, when they, when they try to stand up, she's going to be like, I was emotional at the time. Da, da, and they, I, they, it's, it's been thrown out. It's happened to men before. Five was not falling for that. Nah, sweetheart, you chose yo. You chose the decision you wanted to make, and that's you didn't want to sign it. We on this fucking over with. Fuck around, let's over with. 
I stood on that. Man, we go downstairs, distress. That's what it's called. Claim under distress. That, thanks, Nikki. My sister Nikki. Claim under distress. Anytime, it's, they can throw that shit straight out. So look, bro. That happens. Remember, I told you Steph was turned up. I'm talking about dog. This nigga Steph, my mom, Barry, is crazy, dog. Soon as we get to downstairs, he already in the DJ booth. Dog, this shit is hilarious. He in the DJ booth. As people walk in, guess what's the first song they played? I want to know if y'all can guess the first song they played, dog. I'll give y'all a second. Let me put this roach out of five for another one. Soon as we walk in, Roy D, the first song this nigga play, she gives me money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, yeah, she's a gold digger. Way over time, that's good to me. Oh, dog. She, the Kanye version. She gives me money when I'm in need. I ain't saying she's a gold digger, dog. I'm telling you, dog. That shit was classic, my nigga. Yo, that shit was classic, dog. End up blowing by 300, 400,000. And this, and this, and this, and this uh, more crazy shit that happens, dog. You know, I'm going to keep it all 1,000 with y'all. Nobody, never, nobody knows this but my, my partners that was around me. Hey, Rito, this the sickest, this the sickest part of the whole thing right here. After we deliver, had party at the hotel, me and all my partners getting ready to go out that night. Two of her main squeezes that was there with her was with us that night. And I'm going to keep it funky. I downed one of them. You feel me? But that's her friends, though. Yeah, I did it. Show sure did. So did. Yeah, I did it. Fuck out of here. If I'm going to trick 300, 400,000 off for nothing, yeah, I'm going to get some get back. I'm going to get some get back. Jump down on the clean, too. We pulling off. They outside. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? I look at my pot and I'm like, <laughs> they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait for the opportunity to jump down. They couldn't wait. They, ha they happy the wedding was off. She don't even know it. These are the girls she with the whole weekend that came with all that. Yeah. Yeah. That's how the game go, though. That's how the game go. True story, dog. True story. No bullshit. And let me tell y'all this, too. The same person I'm talking about, we wasn't together. I'm playing for Golden State. We have a, we have kids together, so I want to bring my kids down there at, to go to state and throw their birthday party down there, right? They did, they lived in uh, somewhere else at the time, you know, so way across the country. I bring them there for the party, fly them in, pay for the whole party, all that. Bro, I do know this too. Listen, RJ, I fly them, the mama and the kids there. Pay for about 3000 for the party. Clowns, animals, all kind of shit, right? While she's there for the party, and she's supposed to be shopping, she left. She went down and filed for child support in California and used my address and said she lived there to get more money. If that what it, what what do you call that, dog? What 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 you, what you call that though? Everybody want to jump on me, but what do you call that? What do you call that? She leave, I get a letter in the mail. She didn't file child support with my address. They don't even live there. <laughs> what do you call that, bro? <laughs> what do you call that? What do you call that? 
to the point when we do go to court and I do have to pay up, the judge tell her, man, listen, I'm looking. You didn't been to four, five states trying to take this man to child support. Man, every state he lived in, you try. You, enough is enough. <sighs> to my young man, to my young man out here, I don't want you to go through none of that. Why go through that when I can tell you what I've went through and now you can make a better decision because we ain't no different. You know what I'm saying? Me, you, him, her, we ain't no different. We all human beings. We all have decisions to make. And some of us grow, with, grow up with our father. Some of us don't. So if you like me that don't grow up with your father, a lot of stuff you got to learn on your own from experience. You know what I'm saying? From fucking up. I've done the fucking up, bro. There's no need for you to if I can tell you how to do it. Find you one woman, dog. Love her. You know what I'm saying? Through the good and bad. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying be no fool. And I ain't telling no woman to be no fool. You know what I'm saying? But just make, just take, you know how, you know how niggas make uh, side decisions when they picking their weed or when they picking their clothes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Be more serious about the women you pick like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like for real. Boys take their time and focus on certain shit, jewelry and cars and shit and rims and shit like that. Take that same focus on, on the woman you decide to lay down with or spend your life with, dog. I'm telling you, dog. Especially if, if you plan, if, if you have dreams or admirations of being successful, dog. You know what I'm saying? You got to find a way to settle down, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I'm just giving you a game I know, dog. If you think having a lot of hoes and having a different chick in every area of code, that shit is played out, my nigga. That shit ain't even safe no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, facts. That shit is not even safe to be thinking that's live. That ain't live, bro. I got bitches here. That, that shit is not live no more, my nigga. I'm just being real. That shit ain't live no more. It's 2020, dog. That shit is not live. That shit is not live, bro. And that's coming from a nigga who stayed in the strip clubs. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And it's, and, it's, and especially, I'm being on some money, especially being black. Because the, the, the stigma of the black man being out the household is so crazy right now. Like, we need to start building more black households. You know what I'm saying? Because we at a time now, well, as blacks, we got way more ways to become millionaires now than ever. On God. Let's keep it real. We got more black millionaires now than ever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that to say, now is the time to start building black families. You know what I'm saying? Now to start to start, start building them legacies, dog. Building our roots back up, dog. You know what I'm saying? They kill black men when we date white women. But as soon as a, a black woman go get a sister, I mean, a black woman go get a white boy quick and they praise her. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't really get into none of that, but you know what I'm saying? It, like, we can never get on the same page with women with a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just respect them. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and, and I support them as much as I can. But we kind of we got to find a way as men to be accountable for our own shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to we 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 we, we got to take uh lead and 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 force that that happy home. We got to take lead and find that that sister and build with her. We got to take lead and 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 to changing the mode and to showing young men that having a million hoes ain't what's it. Because I'm telling you. If you go from 10 holes, if you go from 10 girls to one girl, watch how much money you save. Having holes is not it, bro. That's not it. Find you a woman. Find you one woman, dog. Settle down, build with her. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. That shit saves you a lot of money, dog. Not only do it save you a lot of money, it saves you more peace. And what the, the 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 best thing to do is the I mean the best thing is the right thing to do, dog. It's just the right thing to do. It's, it's it's the right way to live. I'm just saying from experience, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's true. A lot of men do not understand the chaos that comes with having a lot of women, dog. Some if if you if you a dude and you feel like you can handle it and you ain't got no kids and I ain't gonna it ain't gonna happen to me it ain't gonna be me I'm different I know how to handle these hoes I'm a mac I'm a pimp okay go ahead on player go ahead on you know it all I ain't talking to you then if you think you if you think you got it all figured out I ain't talking to you but to the young brothers that's listening bro find you one bro she out there she out there find you one find you one dog build with her.